Hello everyone. Hope you're all having a day where you can rest and just be with yourself through all this time. I'm sending you all so much love and light. So I've been guided to work with the Palladians today and to ask the question of how can we bring in more forgiveness and compassion? How can we do this? How can we embody it? And why is it important? So we'll see what the Pleiadians have to say and guidance through this time for us, all of the things that are coming up. So here we go. See you on the other side. We are the Pleiadians. We are here to help you remember the unconditional love that all of you as humans are able to actually access and obtain. And for many who are just beginning to wake up upon this journey of life for humanity collectively, individually, we want to reiterate the importance of holding compassion for those who are unaware those who are, again, just waking up, or even maybe not even awake, and what you are even feeling through the global collective consciousness as a whole that is feeling very fear-based. The way that you can practice more forgiveness is to first and foremost go within. When you go within, you see where you are not forgiving yourself for past situations, or even holding on to certain aspects of your human self as ways of validating that you feel are okay through the pain that you have accumulated. The reason why we are bringing this up is because everything that has come along your path, whether it be a trauma or even just energy that has been harder for you to evolve or not as easy flowing, we could say, as expansive. They have all been things to help you grow and to bring more insight into your life. This is where we can, as a human, learn to forgive for what your mind wanted and expected things to look like allowing there to be more compassion with your human self. Because sometimes we have noticed that many humans or even higher awakened beings that you are can hold yourself to expectations when you feel almost that you are more connected to your light body, more connected to your starseed connections, and are holding limits around what your human self should not react to or how you should always be in a state of higher frequency. But again, this is where compassion for yourself comes forward because you are human. You are experiencing all of the layers of lower densities also being triggered deeper within your physical body because your body holds all of those thoughts, all of those emotions. So the more compassion you can develop with yourself as you would a small child that is learning or even an animal that does not know the difference and goes into reactive states, you can do this by taking a breath, con connecting deeper to your body, allowing your mind, those thoughts, those old emotions to wash over you as if you are just witnessing the clouds moving by, having compassion and knowing that you are whole within yourself even if you have those different aspects of yourself. This is about integrating your shadow aspect that we notice most of humanity calls it or pertains to it. Again, having forgiveness for the system that you live in, the physical third dimension that you live in, having forgiveness for the fall of humanity that's happened for centuries now, that you are evolving out of, that you're moving into a higher frequency, the 5D reality of dimensional expectations, also letting those go of what you feel the earth will keep looking like on a day-to-day -day basis and holding maybe restrictions within your levels of what you feel you are capable of forgiving or allowing more compassion in to yourself, to your light body. At this time specifically, the more that you can 
go inward again, we will say, to recognize where maybe you will need to forgive those of your family members that do not fully see where you are at and allowing those pains and expectations to be healed with more love, more light, more compassion. You do not need outside validation even though as humans you wish to have that to allow yourself to then be okay with where you are at. But again, this is about allowing yourself to feel the encompassment of unconditional love and support from your teams, from your higher self, and seeing and feeling the forgiveness that you have on a daily basis from the higher dimensional aspects of yourself, even when you feel that you do fall or hold yourself in a loop of mental misunderstanding, we could say even too. Having more compassion for the world as a whole can be very challenging when there are such deep, old, dimensional hindrances. But the way you can do this is also by envisioning all of the love surrounding the earth at this time, even when there is so much being purged. Having compassion for a higher level of understanding and holding that in your light of awareness will also help balance what you are purging, what you are forgiving, what you are cycling through. Compassion and forgiveness hold deep connections to one another that help the human body to heal, help the collective consciousness to have new perspectives and new avenues opening up to allowing more heart energy. And this is also what's coming through for Mother Earth, for your physical mother supporting you and your physicality on this planet at this time. It is also recognizing how to forgive the mistreatment of the true nature, nurturing mother and also allowing, again, within the physical parameters of gender, masculine and feminine energy, feminine energy to heal itself, to reconstruct and deconstruct at the same time. So again, it's all about healing your vulnerability, healing the levels of love that you felt were the only possibilities, allowing more compassion to then emanate out from your body. And it will be different for each and every one of you, the process that comes forward, the things that you are working on. But again, you are more connected than ever before. And this is about also connecting back into the telepathical senses and all of your awarenesses that are beyond the physical, tangible reality. And this is also what is helping shift humanity into a higher density of perspective, into this five-dimensional love-compassion path that is meant for the earth to ascend to, that you are helping through the energy that you are working through. And it's not always about holding forgiveness and compassion. It is about feeling it all, of allowing yourself to be so multifaceted, so many different aspects. Even when you feel anger, it is part of the process of working through and then forgiving yourself for even holding judgment that anger is not okay. Everything is okay. There is no right or wrong in your human experience. Even if you have done something that hurts another, there is a lesson to be learned the only thing is if you do not allow yourself to open up into other perspectives of a certain situation, then it holds that energy stagnant. And that is the beauty of what compassion and forgiveness can then give to those aspects that are harder to look at, harder to accept. All of it is meant to happen at the right time for your human experience. You are all doing beautifully at this time, and we are sending beautiful energy of Palladian light coming in to help heal all of the Earth's feminine energy and masculine connection energy as well. So even through this transmission, we are sending you so much love and compassion for who you are at this time and how you are opening up in your own unique way. We are the Pleiadians. Until we speak again. <sighs> I hope that resonates with you all or helps to give some insight of how to be more compassionate with yourselves. I know that for me personally, it's, it's a daily thing of forgiving myself and allowing there to be more reasons to love, more reasons to connect to the community that which we are as a collective. 
and allowing myself to feel safe enough to be so compassionate and open up through this new heart-centered space of living that we're all learning to do for the first time through all of what we've learned, if that makes sense. All right. I love you all so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for your support. If you could share and like and subscribe, all of that good stuff, sending or putting that notification bell on <laughs> if you would like to get updates about when I do post channelings or tarot readings, all of that. I am also offering 50% off personal one-on-one -on -one channelings of the Palladians and the Arcturians and tarot readings, energy healing, soul guidance, all of that good stuff. Um, yes. All right. I love you all. Appreciate you. Hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. Sending you so much love and light. Thank you.